when we download an OBJ or STL file from the web and then import it into Mesh Mixer, we can sometimes have issues with, with things not showing up right. And this is a very common problem. Sometimes uh, a model will show up with just a plain white surface or a plain black surface and you can't actually see what's happening with the faces of the mesh. The fix in this case is to go to Edit, Make Solid, and then adjust the accuracy and the density of the mesh. I'm going to update to refresh the preview to the point where you capture all the detail. You can see even with the slider set up a little bit higher, we still have this kind of Swiss cheese problem where the voxel density isn't sufficient to capture this tray, but you could keep creeping these sliders up until it does um, get all the, the details you need, and then click Accept. And uh, what you'll see uh, after that is that you actually will probably have way too many faces. So I've, uh, I pressed W on the keyboard. Uh, this is already very heavy geometry. We haven't even set the resolution up high enough. So what you can do then is press Control A again to select all the faces and then go Edit, Reduce, and then just um, by, by following uh, through with the Reduce command, you can bring down that resolution to an acceptable level. So the solution with the pizza is pretty straightforward. But um, here's something that might not be so obvious. Uh, the pink faces on here, the, the kind of striped uh, pink appearance, is because the normals on this Pikachu are flipped. And I'll show you in Rhino um, uh, an illustration of what I mean by this. So if we select this box and type in DIR, these arrows indicate uh, which direction Rhino thinks is the outside of the model. Now. This is not actually, if we plan to close this box up, this is not how we want the normals to be. So let me escape out of that. Um, and I'm going to type in cap. And what that's going to do is just close off this box. So it's now an enclosed solid volume. And if we type DIR again, we can see that uh, the arrows now point to the outside. Before I ran the cap command, they pointed to the inside. So this is how we would expect the normals to be, that, that um, they're correctly identifying the outside of the model. Now, sometimes, just because of um, uh, maybe interop interoperability problems between CAD programs or something like that, uh, Mesh Mixer gets confused on the import. So there's a really easy fix for this model. We can just press. Um, well, actually, hold, hold on just a second. Let me show you uh, what you would probably think you could do. <laughs> you would think that you could just go over, uh, because this object is, is the active one in the object browser, you would think you'd be able to just go over to the context menu and press Edit and then find a button that says Flip to Normals. But what we actually have to do is select all the faces. So we'll press Control a to select all the faces and then go to the context menu. And now we have a button to flip normals, and you can see it turns it right side out. Now, here's a, an even um, an even more kind of confusing situation that we could run into. Sometimes a model might import with half of the normals oriented correctly and half inside out. And so if we press S to bring up the selection brush, we can then, um, well, what, what you're probably going to be inclined to do is go through and select the inverted normals by allowing back faces and then flipping those inverted normals seems like it would be the logical way to go. The problem is though that Mesh Mixer doesn't really change the um, display uh, of those inside out faces when we select them. So it's actually easier, I think, to press S to open the selection brush. And I'm going to uncheck allow back faces and We'll just go through and select all of the faces that are forward facing. So we'll select all the gray faces. And then let's go to Edit, Flip Normals. So now the entire model is inside out. And so now we can press Control A to select all the faces. So they're all selected, even though nothing has changed with the display. And we'll go to Edit, Flip Normals. And then the final change we have to make here is we have to get rid of this blue seam here. This is 
um, this line indicates a place where these two meshes are not joined up right. So we can do this easily by going to edit and close cracks and that welds those seams together.